see how a rack database is there. We can again confirm that one by ps hyphen eaf pipe grep smo. We can see that there is an instance called rack db1 is there. So we will see how to connect to the database. So there are multiple ways of connecting. One is that as we know that using the operate system authentication and other one is that by using the Oracle networking. So if you wanted to use the operate system authentication, then we have to set up our environment variables for that. So what we can do is that we can just try to give Aura ENV and give the rack uh, DB1. Okay, it's, it's asked for the uh, database name. That is, uh, I'm sorry, Oracle Home. That is Vaishit DB Home underscore one. Okay. Now you just give SQL plus slash as uh, sysdba. You should be able to connect to the database. Okay. So select name from B dollar database. Okay. Select instance underscore name from gb dollar instance you'll be able to see that there are multiple instances out there and if you wanted to get more information select instance underscore name comma host underscore name from gb dollar instance You can see that rack db1 on version 11 g r uh, 10 and rack db2 on the version 11 g r 11. So that's a okay. okay. And uh, if you look at the ORA tab file, there is a mistake is there. If you if you open the ORA tab file, say slash etc slash ORA tab, you would have noticed that when I given the database seed name, it is asking me the Oracle home. So what happens then? While the DBCA creates the entry, it creates the entry for the database, not for the instances. So what we need is that we have to add the entry for the instance as well. Escape one, YYP. Okay, you should have an entry over here. So when you are giving the aura ENV, you should always give the instance name rather than the DB name. Right. Now, the, the, the system should have uh, made an entry at the um, Oracle file. Now, Oracle is not asking me about the uh, Oracle Home and other stuff. So, this is the option number one, where in which you connect it by using the uh, operate system authentication. The next one is that if you wanted to connect using the networking, the option is that you uh, by default a TNS entry would have been created with the database name. That is TNS ping rack db will give you the uh, you can use yeah, SQL plus system slash oracle at the rate of ActDB. You can see that you are connected with the database by using the DNS. So, by default, you would have been select uh, instance underscore name from V dollar instance. You would have you would have uh, noticed that I have connected to rack db2. Even though I have executed the connect statements from the first node, it got connected to the rack db2. And you would have also noticed that the host name indicates the scan name. The TNS connectivity is the host name indicates the uh, scan name. That's that's the so it is it takes automatically one of the uh, instance and connects to it. Yeah, because that's what I told you. It is it it is not uh, that that's what I was explaining about the the scan IPs, right? It takes one of the IP randomly. It it uh, connects to one of one of the not randomly. It doesn't. It, it is not mandatory that you should be connected to the first instance. It's always wherever the node is there. For example, now we are doing some activity on the node one. The node two is idle. So the connection would have been redirected to node two. Okay. So it's so not guaranteed that we should be always connecting to the first node. Okay. 
So the client side currently they I mean, they don't have any role here, right? They can't forcefully connect to a particular. Yeah, if 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 they wanted to forcefully connect to a particular, then they should use the host name to that particular node only. If you use the scan name, you can see that the highlighted one is the scan name what we used. So if you are using the scan name, uh, then uh, it will get connected to any of the node uh, uh, as um, assignment is occurring based on the log. Yeah, uh, Vimal, uh, hmm. uh, by default, uh, when we uh, create the, when we install the Oracle software, like uh, the listener as well as the TNS entry will get created. Is my uh, understanding correct, Vimal? Come again, once again. Yeah, uh, when we install the Oracle software, uh, when we use the scan IP no. address and all, the listener will be uh, create, the listener will get yeah. created automatically. How about the TNS? Yeah. The TNS will also get created automatically? Uh, How the, the TNS will get created automatically? No, right. Only during the database creation. Is my understanding correct? Yes. Yeah. Only during the database creation because the TNS contains the database information to which it is connected, right? So unless the database is not there in the first stage where you are installing grid infrastructure, mm -hmm. at that time we have only the um, uh, the listener will get configured mm -hmm. and the database will get configured while uh, you are um, uh, creating the database. Got it, Prima. Or using the DVC. Right? Yeah, that's now, yeah. Okay. yeah. Now if you are uh, looking, you can see that this is a TNS entry what I am having. It is just on, on, on my, um, if you are looking the file list, uh, DB home slash network slash admin TNS dot Okay. Now if you are looking, uh, escape, uh, escape. So what I am going to do is I am to answer only questions question. We wanted to get connected to the particular node, only one node. In that case, what I'll do then? I'll use the um, ten dot seventeen dot fifty seven dot. What was our VAP name? It was um, Vaishid 11G R10 hyphen VAP. Okay. So I wanted to get connected to the first node uh, using that virtual IP. So I give that as a host name. Now let's see. TNS ping rack DB1. Okay, it's pinging. Now let's try to connect. SQ plus. System slash Oracle at the rate rack DB1. It's connected. Now select instance underscore name from V dollar instance. It's connected to the first instance. Is that clear, Ronikishan? Yeah, one more question. Here we didn't do any next year right? So while installing and while creating the database itself, yeah, the DBC itself will create the TNS entry. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sorry, I just got disconnected for the last two minutes. Can you just repeat it? What we have done is that we have just uh, um, the. Uh, um, uh, we have just created the, um, uh, I mean, uh, the, we, we just saw how to connect to the database. Basically, mm -hmm. what happened is that it, uh, uh, we use the uh, default, bar, by default it's created a, a TNS entry mm -hmm. called RACDB, which is using the uh, um, scan name. If you're looking, this is using the scan name. And we made a connectivity with that one. And then what we did is that we created another TNS entry, which uses the VAP and connect to a particular node. For example, that is the rack db1 which uses the host name vc 11 gr10 vip so with that you are able to connect to the to a particular node no, oh, I, okay. think, yeah, I think in 10g rack we need to uh, yeah there's there a difference in 10g we have to specify the vaps and uh, in 11g instead of the vap you are using the scan name Okay. In 10G, what you used to have, we have to specify all the, uh, say, um, 
uh, for example, uh, a entry on 10G, the entry will be something uh, similar to this, for example. Okay, I'll just give rack TB 10G. Okay, I'll copy this escape 1, 5, 3. Okay, I have multiple entries are there. I'm going to change the, add the next VIP. Okay, now let's use rack DB 10G. Okay, so it, since it is the first instance is available, it connected to the first instance. So there we are specifying that all the um, uh, uh, host names in our uh, TNS names dot ORA. You can see that the same thing is being replaced with a host name equal to the scan name in Oracle 11 G. So provided the scan is configured correctly, <coughs> is that clear? In can we also, you know, this uh, DNS entries will be created automatically? Or yeah, in also it will get created automatically, yes. Okay, so Mir asking a question, what was the question? Okay, um, Mir's question is that when the load balance comes into picture, why it is used? Important Importance of it. Yeah, say so load balancer, if you want, uh, uh, the importance of the load balancing is that, say you have two instances are there now. Now, uh, say you have 100 users are there. And you wanted the users to be um, relocated or distributed on the multiple nodes. So what you have to do then, you have to use a scan name. By default, the load balancing is built in. Okay. So um, Oracle will base on the load on the server. Oracle will be distributing the connections between the nodes. Okay. One more thing. Between the yeah, yeah, that's possible, yes. Yeah, Freddy's question is that 10G, we don't have the, um, uh, uh, we don't have the scan address. Yes, we don't have the scan is introduced on Oracle 11G release 2 onwards. In 10G or it is 11G release 1, we have to follow the TNS entry similar to this, similar to the high, highlighted portion. If it is Oracle 11G, then we will be using the scan name instead of any other host name. So there is only one entry. As even a situation where you have to uh, have a 10 G 10 node rack, then you have to in 10 G you need to have or 10 G or 11 G release one you need to have the 10 or 11 um, address entries. But in Oracle 11 G if you are using, you will be giving only one address entry, which is having the host name. The host name equal to your scan name. Is that clear for everyone? 